Good morning scholars. This is Aarti Ravi, an educator in Countryside International School. I am back with the second part of EVS chapter, chapter number 1, My Body. In the last video, we studied about the sense organs, the five sense organs. Now in this, we are going to continue the chapter. So let's start. So children, let's revise what we studied in the last class. What are organs? Organs are the parts of our body that perform actions. All the body parts, we use them in doing some work. That means we are performing actions with those body parts. All those body parts are also called organs. We studied about the sense organs in the last class. We have five sense organs. Let's revise them quickly. What was the first one? Eyes, which help us to see. Ears, which help us to hear. Nose, which help us to smell. Skin, with which we feel things and tongue which help us to taste different things. Now, after sense organs, we are going to learn about internal and external organs. In our body, we have internal and external organs. Let's start with external organs. What are external organs? The body parts, the organs that we can see are called external organs. All the body parts which you can see like eyes, nose, knee, leg, neck, ears, hair. These are all the body parts which you can see and these are called external organs. Now let's see what are internal organs. The organs that are present inside our body. They are inside the body. We cannot see them from outside are called internal organs. With your eyes, you cannot see them. Let's see the examples. Heart. When you keep your hand on your chest, you can feel the heartbeats, but you cannot see the heart. Brain. Right? Brain is inside our mind, which we cannot see it. Stomach. And lungs. These are the internal organs. We cannot see them but still they are present inside our body. Now we will learn functions of internal organs. We will study some functions of internal organs. Let's see them. What is this? Yes, you are right. It's a brain. Brain is our internal organ. How does a brain help us? It helps us to think. See, can you see? And it helps us to learn and remember everything. And so, it is also called the control center of the body. Because... Brain is something which controls all our body parts. And so, it is also called control center. The next one is heart. The heart pumps blood to all parts of the body. It gives blood to all the parts of the body. 
What are these? Lungs. We breathe with the help of the pair of lungs. When you breathe, children, you breathe from your nose. But this air goes to the lungs. What is this? Yes, you are right. It's a stomach. The food we eat goes inside the stomach. Everybody knows that whatever you eat, it goes inside your stomach. And stomach helps us to digest that food. Whatever food you eat, it helps us to digest it. And we get energy from it. Now children, let's see something new. Something which is, let's see whether you know or not. Have you ever seen your tongue very carefully? If not, now go to the mirror and see your tongue carefully. It has tiny bumps on it. See, small tiny bumps on it. And these are called taste buds. They help us to taste different things. Now these taste buds present on the tongue. They help us to identify the taste. If you eat a chocolate, yes you feel it is very sweet. Mmm, yums. If you eat something very spicy, you feel very hot. When you eat something very bitter, you don't like it. So, these taste buds help us to give taste different, different things. So, students, I hope you understand about the body, my body, the internal organs, the external organs and the sense organs. I hope it will be helpful to you. See you soon. Goodbye.